Bart, what are you doing near a video game store? <gasps> Buying a video game? Oh, I've heard about this. It's the game where you play a meanie bobini that murders other meanie bobinis. I'm putting this game in the same place I put your swimsuit magazines and your BB gun, Homer's underwear drawer. Ugh, great. Now I have nothing to play except the games I bought yesterday, and I'm totally sick of them. Wow, chocolate half price. Excuse me, fatty. You're eating our world. Hey, you like that rabbit thing from that book about a girl named Alice who goes to Wonderland. What was it called? Oh, yeah, Snow White and Stupid Town. You get out there, remember, no chewing. Chewing's for chumps, nothing but swallow, nothing but swallow. I hope I win. Last year, I was the first guy to barf. Barf? Please, in this business, we refer to that as a Roman incident. That does sound a lot classier. What are you worried about? You have video game powers on your side. It's like cheating, but cheating. Woohoo! Cheating! You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Hey, less references, more mopping. I must hasten home to play my new carjacking game. <sighs> Give me your ride, jerk! Ah! Oh. Hey, that sounds like a tree swallow. No, it sounds like a yellow crowned heron. Oh my god, that sounds like a chainsaw. No, it sounds like a buzzsaw. Ah! Hey, Carl, why do we fight so much? Sometimes I think it's because it's all we have left. Lisa, we did it! We destroyed the factory! We put 200 hardworking Americans out of a job. How are we supposed to feed our families now? Uh, you could retrain in a field with a brighter future, like daycare management or sports massage. But I've been a logger all my life. My daddy was a logger, and his daddy before that, and his daddy before that. Hey, great story. Whoa. Hey, stop your thieving. I spent all day clipping these coupons for flat screen magic picture machines. Brandine has to watch her stories in 1080i pixels. This human has tiny pieces of paper that give him big, big savings. We must study him. Study him with anal probing? Of course with anal probing. What else would we do? Talk to him? I told you to pick up your space rake. No matter. It was foolish to send a former TV clown to do an alien's work. He will have a revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Good evening, Springfield. Kent Brockman chasing local imbecile Homer Simpson and his delinquent son, Bart, who have picked a fight with an out-of-control donut mascot statue. Bart Simpson, are you and your father insane? Hi, lady, I'm on TV. I just said your name on TV. Don't tell Carl unless he sees this, in which case... Hi, Carl, don't tell any I said your name. Who's number one? We're number one, that's right. Oh, Homer, try to show a little dignity in victory. Eat fist, Lord Crutch! They foiled our plot. We must have revenge. Revenge! Vengeance! Revenge! Payback is ours! The mini egg rolls are done. <laughs> egg rolls. Delicious. Hot. Revenge! Revenge! Egg rolls! Dipping sauce! Egg rolls! Mm. Revenge! Mm. Oh my god, it's the mothership! This must be the level boss for this part of the game! The boss! Quick, everyone look busy! Look, the hatch 
hatch opens after every four laser bursts. That's the weak spot when we need to fire. Hey, Kodos, that ugly kid's right. Why are we exposing our weak spot after every four laser bursts? You're right. Why do we even need to expose our weak spot at all? Thanks for the heads up, Earth dumbass. Ow! Our powers aren't strong enough. We need to stop these spaceships. And there's only one person in Springfield who's smart enough to figure out how. I drank blue juice from under the sink. Oh, let's just find Professor Frank. Professor Frank, are you home? We need to talk to you. Yeah, we're selling band candy. No, we need to tell him the truth. I am. I gotta move this candy, alien invasion or not. Whatever, it looks like he's not home. Fine, I'll break, you enter. <laughs> this place is sadder than Moe's house, and that dude is sad. Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? The thing is, our video game powers aren't strong enough. We need upgrades, and fast. Well, I've anticipated this problem, and I've done what every video game player who doesn't have time to figure out things for himself does. You cheated. Exactly. <laughs> Behold, the strategy guy. Unless we do something, these space octopuses are gonna get jiggy all over Springfield. Did I use jiggy right? Sorry, the cheat guy doesn't have any more upgrades. Wait, I know another way we can cheat. The internet. Of course, the internet. That's where I cheat for school. Cheating, is there anything it can't do? Where are we? We're in the game engine. If our life is a video game, this is the factory where it was made. That's ridiculous. I'm not a video game character. I'm a real life person with dreams and feelings. Ah! Yeah, all right, fine, I'm a video game guy. Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? We look so pixely. And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them. They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island. I'm Marge. <laughs> Attention, Smooth Simpsons. We've been around this complex for a long time and bring a warning. Cowabunga. One day, your video game, too, will be obsolete. No way. The Simpsons game is awesome. Just because every video game up until now has been destroyed and forgotten doesn't mean ours will be. Bart, she's right. I mean, I'm right. We're both right. No video game is safe from an industry that's always chasing the hot new thing. Sure, the Simpsons game is great with its unique upgradable character abilities and its hilarious self-referential cutscenes. But what about when the Xbox 720 comes out or the PlayStation 4? No one will want to play us then. Damn this godforsaken place. Video game making nerds are getting rich and all I can do is die and die and die and die. Each death more painful than the last. <laughs> Video games don't have points anymore. No points? How do you know you're doing good in the game? Well, you make progress through the objectives of the game. Like here, we collected the four key cards. Four points? That's a pretty sucky score. I got eight million on a centipede machine and a Pizza Hut once. But four? Pathetic. Look, how many lives did it take you to get these cards? Lives? What do you mean? I mean, I died a lot. And I mean a lot, but it's not like I have limited number of lives. Infinite lives? Then how is a game even hard? What's the point if you can just play forever? The world I grew up in is gone. <laughs> Bart, Dad, you just vanquished your own creator. The philosophical implications would make Eugene Ionesco's head spin. Hmm, you make a provocative point, Lisa. And furthermore, kick him! <laughs> 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 Mr. Groening, how could you have betrayed us, the fruits of your creative loins, and sold us out to all these awful video games where we endlessly die and lose health and jump and jump and jump? I swear I didn't know they'd be awful, Lisa. If I'd known, I only would have slapped your faces on mugs, t-shirts, candy, lunch boxes, board games, gum, novelty flying discs, and fluffy, fluffy beach towels. I follow the three C's, clean living, chewing thoroughly, and a daily dose of vitamin church. Stupid Flanders. 